By now, I'm sure you've all seen this guy here, the MTM Aqualine pressure washer nozzle. But since this came out, a few brands have created their own variations of it and even one on Amazon that is an extreme value play. And that is from Ridge Washer. This guy here, uh, they come in a whole bunch of different sizes and degrees. We're gonna touch on all these today, see which one's the best value, which one's the best product overall, and just give my general opinion on these things. Now, before we jump into the actual review and kind of tear down of each of these, uh, I do wanna bring up a, a quick uh, note. The MTM comes in a bunch of different degrees, so you can go like a 25 degree, 40 degree, all that kind of good stuff, and a bunch of different nozzle sizes. So, you know, uh, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, 3.5, all that kind of stuff. So. Tons of variation, but they are all blue, which is fantastic because it looks really, really good, but it's harder to tell them uh, apart. The McKillens right here, this is an awesome new one. Uh, has a really nice rubberized, super soft sleeve, softer than the MTM. Um, but this one currently only comes in a 4.0 orifice size and a 40 degree. For me, that's fantastic. Works well with the Actor 2.0 uh, and all the other pressure washers that I use, the Krenzla, the AR630. But if you're using a, like a Ryobi or something like that, this is gonna be too large of a nozzle. And then finally, like I said, the Ridge Washer units that you can get on Amazon uh, are significantly cheaper. Uh, these guys come in, the MTMs I've seen between $25 and $40. The McKillens is about 25 bucks. The Ridge Washers come in a bunch of different sizes as well, from 2.5 up to a four. Um, and you get a full pack for less money than one of these guys, or one of these guys. For about 20 bucks, you get a uh, soap dispensing nozzle, which is really throwaway in my opinion. You get a zero degree, you get a 15 degree, 25 degree, and the 40 degree in the nozzle colors that we're all used to. Now let's go ahead and talk about the specs on each of these. So typically, with like a normal pressure washer nozzle, it's usually labeled right on the side here. Let me see if I can get this to focus for you. Uh, let's see, where is it? There. So this one says, there you go, 40037. That means it's a 40 degree nozzle, uh, three point size orifice, 3.7 size orifice. So uh, the larger that orifice size, the more water flow you're gonna get, but it's gonna drop the PSI. So you wanna make sure you're using the right size for whatever application you are using for your pressure washer. When we look at the uh, new ones from Ridge Washer, it's really, really nice because they actually label it right on the front cone. So right, there, if it'll focus, there you go. 40040, meaning 40 degree nozzle, 4.0 orifice. Uh, the McKillens is not listed right on the front. We look around the collar sides, not listed there as well. But if you open this up, it's very, very easy to do. That's another design feature of the McKillens. You can actually just back this off. It's threaded, right? And then you can pull the sleeve off and that is where they list it. So they actually have it listed right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's listed right there, 40040. Again, 4.0 orifice, 40 degree nozzle. Now for the MTM, it's not listed very, very well. So if you see there, MTM Hydro, made in Italy, uh, go around the side. I don't see anything on the collar, anything listed anywhere. You do see right there, Veloci, which is the brand, I, I believe it's the brand that owns MTM. Um, again, you look into the nozzle, you don't see anything there. So I'm assuming the size is stamped similar to the McKillens and it's actually on the side of that nozzle. But because, especially because all of these are blue, I feel like they should have labeled that a little bit better. That's just a personal thing. But at the same time, most people that are gonna be using this are gonna order the one size that they need in the one angle that they need it. And that's all you really have to worry about. So, um, but anyways, this one is currently a 25 degree nozzle, 3.0 orifice. Um, that's what I had ordered. I, Again, I'm gonna look in there, but I can't see it. Now, right off the bat, guys, when we talk about the construction of these things, as you can see, they are all stainless steel, which is really, really cool. The insert all the way through, stainless steel on the Ridge Washer, the MTM, and the McKillens. Now, uh, one thing to note is uh, the size of the little nozzle protector. As you can see, we're just gonna stand them up next to each other. The MTM, or sorry, the uh, uh, McKillens is the largest amount of protection, you can see it actually seats over a lot of the connector points, um, then the MTM and then the Ridge washer. How far is it set back though? You can see it's pretty deep in there still. So, uh, I don't know, probably about the same. And then the last one, I would say the McKillens is set back the furthest, 
but still all relatively close. Now we're gonna get to testing these as well. I'm gonna compare the McKillen's unit because I know they're, that their uh, build quality is fantastic. Again, uh, I'm very, very confident in their ability to make a very, very accurate uh, nozzle here. So um, when we talk about the MTMs, they're accurate. I have no qualms against this thing. Fantastic little tool here, right? Uh, the MTM, or sorry, the McKillens. My goodness, I'm doing that a lot. The McKillens. I do like the structure of this thing a little bit more than the uh, MTM. I like that you're able to remove this and take it apart so easily. And I do like that the collar is softer than the MTM. You can see I have to push pretty hard to flex that versus this one's nice and nice and loose. Not so loose that it's gonna get in your way, but again, I think that's safer for your car. If you just threw this at something, like say you didn't seat this all the way down, you pull the trigger and this thing goes flying off, that could definitely still ding the car. This one, yeah, obviously still could too, but I think that this is the proper, th this feels really, really good. Now when we go to the Ridge washer, this one's a blend between the two. It's not quite as hard as the MTM, but it's definitely not as soft as the McKillen's. Uh, one thing I would say, I would say that the MTM wins out on this one for sure. Strictly because the, even though it's a little bit harder, the actual coating on it seems softer than this one. So MTM wins that one for sure. Now we're gonna go ahead and compare these two units here. Again, I know I'm, I'm, the, the McKillen's is gonna be accurate on a 4.0 scale. This one, I don't know. This is, Ridge Washer seems to be just like a, a Chinese factory overseas that sells on Amazon. I don't know that for sure, but that's what it seems like. It seems like a direct brand someone, or, or someone's just private labeling from them and listing it on Amazon, which I completely appreciate because it is bringing in a extreme value play here for those that want it. But let's go ahead and test them side by side. We're gonna test the angle of the fan pattern and then we're also gonna test the flow to see these are both 40 degree 4.0 orifice nozzles, so they should be exactly the same, right? So we're gonna test that and see. Um, again, if there is any variance, I'm gonna say that the McKillen's is accurate and, and this one's not, but let's go ahead and test them. Really quickly guys, one thing before uh, we go to the testing, I want to highlight something. A company had reached out to me, um, he's a fellow professional detailer, veteran owned and he actually is working on creating his own side little business as well another a product related business and that is this guy here so if you can look it up i'll link it all down in the description for you but it's from mad car care he sent this to me and i'm happy to kind of share this with you guys because i think it's an absolutely cool idea you have your pressure washer wand right and sometimes you know 99 percent of the time i'm using a 40 degree nozzle, but sometimes I need a little bit more on the wheels or something like that, and I wanna carry my 25 degree nozzle with me, something like that, right? Well, usually there's storage on the, on the uh, pressure washer, or I can store it in my truck, but my pressure washer hose is 50 feet away, time is money, I wanna be able to be as efficient as possible, and this little tool here actually helps me do that. So what it is, is I, again, I have my, my 40 degree nozzle here, this is an awesome little uh, additional tool hole, uh, sorry, tip holder, and you can actually wrap it around uh, the handle of your pressure washer gun. Now it is kind of, it's slightly flexible, so you can uh, kind of work with it, so it should fit pretty much every uh, different pressure washer gun, but basically you just wrap it around, and then you take one end, you flip it over the, the part that actually holds the nozzle, and then there is some nice uh, uh, kind of inserts. You can kind of tuck it in, locks it into place and you're good to go. So now, again, I can be out working and have my other nozzle there with me at all times. And I can even move this around. I can you know, keep it low if I wanna have it a little more out of the way. It's a really, really cool concept. Very, very simple, but really awesome because it does the job very, very well. Now when I pull it, um, I don't know, it seems like you know, it's no problem, it pulls right out but do you see how that flexed with it? So I would just recommend you just, you grab it at the base, pull it out, and then you're good to go. All right, now let's go ahead and get to the testing. All right guys, so let's go ahead and go out and test the McKillen's 40 degree 4.0 nozzle and the Ridge Washer 40 degree 4.0 nozzle, okay? So I'll have them both with me. I have this nice little, I think, that, what is this called, a protractor? Is that what it's called? It's been a long time since I've been in school, but this one's really cool, I got this at Lowe's. Um, you can actually set it, zero it out. I will set it to 40 degrees exactly. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna lock this in place. Okay, so now we know that this here is a 40 degree pattern. So I'm just gonna take the nozzles, hook them up to my pressure washer, spray them, 
measure it over this to see if it's an actually an accurate 40 degree nozzle. All right guys, so I don't know if you can tell, but it is raining outside, but we're still gonna do this. I'm just gonna try and stay under a cover here a little bit. I'm gonna try and give you the best view as I can of this. But here we go guys, I'm just gonna set this up. That's almost spot on 40 degrees. So back here, we're doing it at the pivot point, right? The edge of the fan is right here on the outside. So exactly 40 degrees, looking really good for the McKillens. Let's go ahead and switch over to the ridge washer version right here. Okay, let me make sure it's lined up. All right, here we go guys. We're gonna do the same thing for this one. Test it out. Pretty much the same. Let me let me switch back real quick and see if there's any difference there. I mean, if there is any difference, it's minute. But just to see. Yeah, I'm gonna say the McKillens is slightly wider, slightly. But again, we're splitting hairs here, guys. The, uh, the 40 degree on this nozzle is fantastic as well. I, I would just say that the McKillens is probably a degree or two wider. Yeah, I'd call, I'd call the Ridge Washer 39 degrees and the uh, McKillens 40. All right, now last but not least guys, let's go ahead and flow this into a bucket for one minute. See what the gallon per minute rating is um, again. I can't remember exactly what it was for this pressure washer. Uh, it should be right around two gallons per minute or, or right about there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the ridge washer. Plug this in here. All right, got it all set up. I'm gonna run this for one minute. So I'm gonna get my watch ready. All right, reset and here we go. All right, and there is one minute. All right, so here we go. We're over seven quarts. We're just under the orange lettering, right? Like basically touching the bottom of that P. So that is our mark to match um, and see where, where we're at for the McKillens. All righty guys, so we're gonna run the same test. You can see we have the McKillens here now, the black tip. Just gonna put this in here. Let me reset the, the stopwatch. Make sure it's gonna run for me. I don't want any wetness on there. All right, and here we go. All right, there is one minute. Very, very interesting, guys. A considerable, considerable amount of water more than the other nozzle. The other nozzle was great, guys. I will say, let me just double check that. That was a three point, no, yeah, 4.0. Let me see if that'll, there you see, 40040. However, this 40040 got substantially more water. Now, like I said, guys, I've met the guy, uh, Wahid, the owner of McKillen's, um, and He's top notch. Like I was talking to him about his new pressure washer uh, wand design that he's working on. And like he goes through the process. He is not simply private labeling products from China. He is designing and fine tuning and refining everything that he can. Um, so I have no doubt that this one is 100% accurate to where it should be. And this seems more accurate to me because with the 3.7 nozzle, that comes with the active, we sit just under this, but we got more than, than where the other one got. So um, it seems like these ridge washers are a fantastic alternative for price, but just know it seems like we are sacrificing something because we got slightly less water and a slightly less degree of fan. And just to show you guys, like that test shows the actual water going through, um, but just so you can see, the 40 degree nozzle from ridge washer it's consistent pressure all the way through. This is the 4.0 uh, on an active 2.0 machine. So it feels really, really good. I don't have anything negative to say about it other than the test. It shows, yeah, it's slightly different numbers. Um, when we compare that to the McKillens, again, uh, let's see the fan pattern here. Again, it just looks wider to me. Very, very consistent all the way through as well. So yeah, guys, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for that max flow, 
go with either the MTM or the McKillens. Um, my personal choice, I honestly, I like the blue on the MTM a lot, but the softness of this nozzle, the whole purpose of this is paint protection so that if you do nick something, it's gonna keep it safe. This one's gonna keep it the safest in my personal opinion. If you're on a budget, but you still want that safety, these Ridge Washer ones are fantastic. I would just recommend possibly, what I would do is run it on my machine, test out the flow to make sure whatever uh, it is where you like. In a case where you think you need a 3.0, maybe buy a 3.0 and a 3.5, test them both, and then send the one back. I don't know. Or keep the one other one as a secondary setup. But um, I'm really, really excited that they finally came out with these. Fantastic little, uh, little units here. But the McKillens is going to be my number one choice, other than color, which the MTM wins on that one. All right, guys, so there you have it. A little bit of a surprising uh, turn of events, in my personal opinion. Um, the McKillens, guys, like I said, I have no doubt this is an accurate 4.0 nozzle. Same thing with the MTMs. Absolutely. This one's listed at 2. Point, or I don't remember what this is, 3.0, 25 degrees. So I didn't test it against the other ones because it's a different size. But MTM makes fantastic products. I have no doubt that that's 100% accurate. The Ridge Washer uh, new nozzles were the wild card. And it looks to me that there is a slight variance in that size. It didn't get quite as much water as the Ridge Washer, or excuse me, as the McKillens, I apologize. Um, I gotta say, again, in my personal opinion, the winner has to be the McKillens. For, honestly, the MTM is a fantastic unit, like really, really nice. Um, slightly less uh, bulbous, I guess. It's just that the McKillens seems to cover more of the back end as well, which actually is kind of nice, especially if you're getting into the wheels. It gives you more area to kind of this bangs up against two versus just metal. Um, and the fact that the, the, the crush resistance, the, the McKillen is just nice and soft, doesn't get in the way, but if you were to bang up against your paint, that's gonna be an easier, easier uh, hit against it. So that's it guys, like I said, if you want the blue and you want something that's fantastic, the MTM is a fantastic choice. You can get them online. I have them all linked in the description for you guys. Really, really good unit. The McKillens, I don't think comes in as many sizes, but if you need this size or whatever they come with, I'll link them all in the description as well. Um, this is gonna be my favorite choice. And then if you're on a budget and you want a whole kit of them, the Ridge Washer, guys, again, it didn't get quite as much water flow, but still a fantastic, fantastic nozzle. So that's it for, uh, for today's video, guys. Again, I'll link this down in the description below as well. Again, it's from Mad Car Care. It's a small, independently owned, uh, veteran operated business. So make sure to support your local business, support our veterans. But that's it for today's video, guys. I appreciate all of you watching. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.